Welcome to Comswag's Media Broadcast. I'm Haley. And I'm Justice. This year, we introduced a new assistant principal to the school. Mr. Shuruvis is one of the coolest people in administration. He is close with his students and staff. Sophia and Gwen interviewed him, and they learned a lot more about him. Let's roll the tapes. This year, CompSwag has a new assistant principal, Mr. Shuruvis. On Wednesday, September 21st, 2022, we had the opportunity to sit down and ask him a few questions to learn more about him and what he has to offer for our school. An assistant principal, also known as a vice principal, plays a significant role in making our school flourish. The responsibility of administering our day-to-day -day lives shows the hard work and dedication they put into all they do. According to our own assistant principal, Mr. Shruvis, his day-to-day -day responsibilities include things like enforcing the attendance rules, um, recording and responding to disciplinary actions, uh, parent meetings, phone calls, hiring, mm -hmm. keeping the building safe and let it function so your teachers can deliver instruction. Mr. Shuruvis isn't new to this field of education. He's worked in administration for eight years in, in education for about 14 to 15 years. Time flies. Time goes quick. He says, as someone who is interested in pursuing a career in this rigorous field, the amount of time and diligence that goes into just getting this degree is astounding. Mr. Shuruvis has done a lot prior to today. In 2008, he started here at CompSwag as a permanent sub. He then went to the South Bronx where he taught math at a high school slash prep school for two years. From there, he went to Queens to teach at a middle school as an ICT math teacher while being part-time dean. For the next seven years, he worked as an administrator at Miller Place. From starting off as a teacher to becoming an administrator, Mr. Shruvis has left a positive impact at each location he worked at. When he asked what led him to move to administration from teaching, he mentioned how he also tend to get a little bored in, in certain roles pretty quick, so. <laughs> and how he is always looking to, you know, take on the next challenge. Overall, his major push into this higher position was to have a bigger impact on, on a larger group of people. The education field can get meticulous at times. When he said, so it's not my first rodeo, um, I would like to kind of, you know, put my roots down and stay and, and be comfortable. But, you know, going from school to school and it's like new rules, routines and, and new customs. So it's not guaranteed that you will find a position right off the bat, but the different environments that a person experiences during this time of their lives builds them for this very job they set up for. In this case, for Mrs. Sherubis, it was CompSwag. He really emphasized Comswag offers so much for you guys. Um, in this case, the things that this district provides for you guys is astounding. And that's just from what I've seen compared to like the Bronx, compared to Queens, mm -hmm. compared to Rocky Point where I grew up, compared to Miller Place where I worked prior. Our student body should be very appreciative with what our school has to offer because our administration is only trying to help better our high school experiences. I mean, look at the bunches of new electives available to us this year. It's important to have a clear set of goals when beginning a new chapter at Comswag High School. Us students enter each school year with intentions and aims to accomplish. Likewise, Mr. Shruvis's main goal revolves around student involvement. He enjoys the student leadership here and would like to increase participation in it. He is working with other administrators to get the other part of the class that doesn't really get involved to get involved. He hopes to have a positive, healthy impact on the school, one where students can enjoy coming to school because of what it has to offer. Mr. Shruvis works hard both inside and outside of Comstock High School. He is a proud father of three little ones, two five-year-old twins and a recently turned one-year-old. He spoke about his family with genuine joy and care. While having pictures of them all around his office, his time outside of school rather than being occupied with sport watching has been taken over with watching anything from Sesame Street to Spongebob, whatever his kids are watching. We learned a great amount after talking with our new assistant principal, Mr. Shruvis. Throughout the entire interview, he spoke with a smile on his face and a prominent sense of optimism. We are confident in saying that we can trust him with the future of our school and are excited to see what he has in store for this 2022-2023 school year. We wish him the best of luck and hope that he can share his stage while guiding us in growing our student involvement in the school to make it the best it can be. Hi everybody, so we're interviewing today 
please. And what grade are you in? I'm in 11th grade. You're in 11th grade. Cool, cool. So we have a new assistant principal this year. Um, what do you think of him so far? Well, uh, seeing as the, that he brought those two speakers in on the first day, two, first two days, um, it already seems like he cares a lot about the school. He wants us to be motivated, to have fun. And uh, honestly, I really respect him so far. Like, I admire him. I think he's doing great. Me too, me too. What do you want him to contribute in this new school year? Well, I think during the year, um, so based on his, like, what he's already done, I think that he's going to definitely contribute a lot to uh, the school's community. And, like, at Comstowog, we do care a lot about, like, the community values and diversity and all that stuff. So, um, I'm sure that he'll, like, he'll be able to find a way to make everybody come together. He'll, he'll keep the community, like, all good, all in check. Everything will be good. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Next, we should take a look at the photo class video. Hey, didn't you do that feature? Yes. Doing this video was a great experience because you get to learn a lot. That's so cool. Let's watch your video. Photography class is a great elective for students who would like to learn about cameras and different ways to take pictures. Ms. Rodisco is a teacher of digital photography and she will show you all the techniques for using a high-end camera. One of the techniques we learned was ghost photography where you take a picture of something but it takes a few seconds to take the full photo and get two of the same object in different places. And it looks like a ghost of the object. Another one of the techniques we learned was softbox lighting, where you take the light the professionals use to take your school picture and you pose for the picture and you get a great result if your settings are set correctly. Another technique that we learned was negative space, is when you set the settings on your camera where you are focused on an object and the background is blurry. The best results show when your pictures aren't too bright and aren't too dark and the object you are focused on should not be blurry. And lastly, the Life Seals class had a pumpkin decorating contest. All the students did a great job with decorating their pumpkins. Yeah, and Camilla and Alex did a great job covering this feature. Let's take a look at the video. Well, that wraps up our features for this week. Be sure to check out our online newspaper, which contains all the articles and features from this year. You can find us on Comswalk social media or access us through our QR codes around the school. Thanks for watching.